Get paid to get high. Pope Idol auditions have begun. Welcome to the In2G Show. I'm Luke White. And I'm Sunshine. And today we've got two absolutely marvellous stories to tell you about. And first up... Uh, cocaine in university. Apparently now you're able to take it. Well, hey! <laughs> Under very controlled circumstances. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> so King's College in London, which is actually the 12th best university as voted last year in Europe. Wow. So it's pretty prestigious. They are doing this new study and what they've asked is for people to come forward, specifically men, who they would like to have a nasal administration of cocaine, which basically means snorting cocaine. So let me get this straight. Are these participants going to be paid? Their expenses apparently are going to be paid. So I think that's a very wide bracket. I don't actually know what that means. When they say expenses... I, what, Expenses for what? You took I'm... coke and you didn't turn up to your lesson. <laughs> I want some reimbursement. Re- well, re- I guess if you were meant to be at, at work and yeah. you're like, sorry, I've got to take today off because I'm I've taking got, coke later. I'm taking some coke, then I guess they're saying they'll pay your your daily um your salary for that day. I'm just wondering how they get away with this. Well, the thing is, when I first read this story, I was just like, this is madness. But now it is very controlled. They want to find out what effect does cocaine have on the body. And I'm against animal testing. And if you want to know how certain things work on the body, it has to come to a certain point where you have to use well, I human know. I guess it's true because I if you wanted to know the effects of weed, you'd go to Brixton and just walk around. So... I don't know, cocaine, where would you go? I'm sorry for all South Londoners. Um, not all of I South do not agree with his opinion. South London is a wonderful place. But um, the fact of the matter is, if you want to see the effects of marijuana, you would go... Go to... You would take a test to see in a controlled environment what it would have. That's what he's trying to say. Get off but at in Brixton the... Station. <laughs> you take in... a walk. You find... The many... <laughs> Anywhere. <laughs> As soon as you come out the station, hey, you want some of this? So for cocaine, I mean, how are you going to... Oh, no, actually, with cocaine, all you have to do is go into any respectable law firm or any respectable... Is it what they're called? Blue-collar, white-collar jobs? So in... in so what, don't in, say it's a rich man's drug. No? What they're saying is, actually, they don't actually want c- cocaine addicts. They're saying they want people who have never actually used recreational drugs before, who are fit and who are healthy. They're only going to use the one drug once, oh, and it is going to be... That's a relief. <laughs> the, the, I think it's the London Westminster Research Ethical Committee. Yeah, I got that out. They've actually approved this study. They said that St. Thomas's Hospital is going to be watching closely. There's going to be a registrar or a consultant doctor on hand just in case anything goes wrong. So it's not just taking coke in a coke den and then seeing what happens. It was all very controlled. Okay, that's that's all right then, so... I'm not saying no, that it's all right, but I'm saying it's not the... It's not as seedy as it first sounds to say, we want people to take cocaine. I always believe that it's not the drug that is the problem, it's where you take it. So I'm I'm completely in agree. I mean, it's, there's no class in taking drugs in the toilets of uh, some sordid nightclub, but if you've got scientists and doctors around you, then hey... Let's all be part of this experiment. Your sarcasm experiment. is ugly. That's what I would just like to say. <laughs> Can I, it's but, ugly. On a, on, a, on a real tip, though, you know, I'm just saying, right now is a good time to be a drug dealer, then. All I'm saying, because they have to get this coke from somewhere. And I'm just thinking... Look, King's College, like I said, it's, one of, it's the 12th best university in the whole of Europe. People who have gone there are, like, part of the Nobel Peace Prize laureate. Like, 10 people are part of that. Like, this college was instituted to remember one of the kings of this great country. So it's not just any little local college that's doing it. And they are known for doing cutting-edge studies. In they that do kind case. Of, they do DNA studies. They do things like this. So they are trying to push the boundaries. And they said 700,000 people last year were known for taking cocaine. And if we're going to find some sort of... Thing to help them, you know. I didn't see nothing. Addicts. I didn't see nothing Maybe. written there about helping people. It's about well, it's finding out the results. The effects, the effects that it has. Don't you think that's for some medical you reason? You get high. You take cocaine. You take any recreational drug. I'm assuming the result is to get high. 
case closed. They can pay me all that money that they're going to spend on this experiment. And I will happily, I'll write up on headed paper. I will, you know, use my best, my best handwriting or I'll use a computer even. Look, all I'm saying is I'm, I'm, sure. playing, I'm playing devil's advocate. I don't actually believe that they should be giving cocaine to students because I feel any drug, even though most of the things I've read up about cocaine does say that in the long run is when you'll see most of the effects from a one-time use in general it's not when you're going to be suffering things from like overdose and things like that even though it can happen especially but not in a controlled environment so any any side effects are usually in the long term but i don't agree with doing it i mean i think there's look find a coke addict ask him what the effects find are don't find coke. a healthy student find a coke addict <laughs> <laughs> that is the solution to this problem just find a coke addict. This is going to look really different when I'm watching this back. Isn't if it? you think they should just find a coke addict, please let us know. Subscribe to our channel. Write on our Facebook page and make sure you leave your comments below. Or Twitter. Or Twitter. At Into2G. Let us know. Should they just find a coke addict or are there some studies that don't need to be done? <laughs> Now for our second story. Don't say it. You ready? No. <laughs> Pope Idol auditions have begun. Oh, no. Pope Idol audition. For those of you who have been living under a rock and are not aware, the leader of the Catholic Church... Pope Benedict the Sixteenth, God's representative on earth. Intercessor of our Catholic prayers has resigned from his post effective he's gone he's gone he's gone he is out the door as of february 28th at 7 p.m gmt time he no there is no pope <laughs> there no. is no pope but this is the first time in 600 years that someone has resigned i can't imagine how the 1.6 billion Catholics feel at this time. So, you know, on a serious note, it is it must be deep to feel as though you've got no leader at this moment in time. So if Jesus decided that he was going to take a sabbatical, I would be very upset. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, right, I'm trying to I'm trying to feel for you guys and she's pulling me off. So I firstly want to apologize, okay? And then I want to go on to say, on a serious note, Catholics out there, I feel for you. It must be hard not have a leader at this time. And I hope that the right person is put in position for this job. Now, elections have begun. How do people kind of elect, like, how do you become Pope? Do you just, I want to be Pope? Um, no, I've tried that. It didn't work. <laughs> um, I was kind of ushered away, kicking and screaming. Um, it's quite a secretive process. Um, all the the cardinals from around the world, um, 200 odd of them, come to the Vatican, um, are locked in secret rooms, their own secret room, and they vote which one of them is going to be the next Pope. And when they have a two-thirds majority agreement, they send up the... Um, I think it's black smoke. No. They send out... No, I think the black smoke is to indicate they their haven't decision, made decision hasn't been made. Right, so they send out a white smoke, I assume, and they ring the bell, and that's how you know that they've reached a two-thirds um, majority, and that person is put in place. But I've actually heard that Pope Benedict, before he was... You know, walked out of the Vatican City, yeah. <laughs> he actually brought the nominating process forward. Why? By 15 days, because... Usually it happens 15 days after the person dies or in this case resigns, but Easter's coming. And if they left it too long, there would be no Pope for Easter. This begs the question, are there some jobs that you just can't resign from? I think so. They've never been in a position where they're going to have two Popes. There's going to be one who's in retirement and there's going to be another one that's on the, the seat of Peter. <laughs> you don't even like the sound of that, do you? That's gonna that's gonna be very, 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 very problematic. I yeah. believe. I heard one of the problems that they actually having is if the Pope can resign, does that mean he can be fired? 
Because before it was just Ooh. you die as Pope. Ooh. So if you're on the seat, Ooh. that's it. But now they're saying if you're resigned, then you can be fired. So I'm going to be honest with you. From what I've heard about this last, what's it, Pope Benedict, Benedict. the 16th? Yeah. Now he, if anyone was going to be fired in any job, in, in any place in this world, it, sh- it would have been him. Let me tell you why. Oh, Let me tell you why. <laughs> I'm going to explain myself. He has had to put out some major fires or tend to some major fires in his tenure. I think he's actually lit some major fires. Well, I mean, to be honest, some of them he has just... Fan the flame? No, he has he has walked into as a result of his position. I mean, the whole issue of... Gay marriage? Gay marriage. He has... He has... Upholded com- the Catholic's stance on that. Well, yes, he's upheld the Catholic stance or the, tip, the traditional Catholic stance, but... Obviously, he's he's sat in power whilst it has become legal. Yes, yeah, true. So he's had that issue to deal with. He's also had the whole issue of safe sex practices uh-huh. with the outbreak of AIDS in certain parts of the world where Catholicism is has a major stronghold. He still had to come out. At, he at first he came out and said, "No, we're not teaching safe sex. We're not talking about condoms. They should not be used." End of the matter. Get AIDS. That's basically what he was saying. If you're going to have sex outside of marriage, you have to deal with the consequences. And as... Maybe or disease that cannot be cured. Incurable disease. So this is what I'm saying. You see <laughs> you see the issues he's had to deal with. There is a lot. Highly contentious issues. Those are just two. And, and now we're looking at the whole thing where this seems to be... Well, a lot of newspapers in Italy... Um, I think it's La Repubblica. Yeah, that's one of them. They have come out and said that there is definitely, or not, or they believe that there is this hidden world of sexual promiscuity, um, homosexuality, promiscuity. and all these issues relating to sex that are going on with with some priests and also some people who work within the walls of the Vatican. Um, I mean, pictures have been taken with priests in visiting gay clubs. Allegedly, yeah. Allegedly, there's been sting operations on these people. Mm -hmm. And so... Even Pope Benedict's (sighs) butler came forward saying, literally, he leaked some papers from the Vatican saying that within the Vatican, there is just a hotbed of intrigue and kind of just things that's going on that shouldn't be going on. He's just saying... Lots of things that are going on that people wouldn't even expect to be happening. And to get that from the Pope's butler, that's basically, he's seen all the, the dirt that's going on. Who knows if he had a personal vendetta against the Pope and he lied. Who knows if he's telling the truth. But mm. the allegations are there. And we are also seeing things happening within Catholic Church and the priests worldwide. Like one of the cardinals from St. Andrews in Edinburgh couldn't actually go because of inappropriate behaviour. And I think now that he has actually stepped down. Cardinal O'Brien, but not to say that intrigue and problems are only going within the Catholic Church. We'll be lying to say that. Things go in in all churches. For real. And then once you get into a position of power, you're prime bait for the devil. Like, And I would say that leads us to probably one of the most important questions. And that is, is it time to see the first black James Bond? I mean, the first black Pope. If we can have a black Pope... We can have a black anything. We can have a black James Bond. Yeah. Idris Elba. In fact, I think it should be the same person. Idris Elba should be the first black pope and the first black James Bond. I'm putting that out there right now. Idris, it's on you, mate. Well, that means Idris, Idris has already had children, so they have to be celibate. How does that work? Idris, can you just say it was before he became... Idris, Idris can do it. Idris, you can do it. You did John Luther. You were, you are Stringer Bell. Idris Elba, I plead with you. Stringer Bell? Stringer Bell in The Wire. The, the wire? greatest show ever. Okay, I'm not even going to go there right now. <laughs> I'm not even going to go there right now. Right about now, that's a whole nother piece of education that we don't have time for, okay? Idris Elba should be the next black pope. The first black pope, okay. the only black pope. He would never resign. Ain't no black man resigning from pope. <laughs> what? I'm the pope. That position would get pimped out nicely. Oh my God. They've already got all the bling going on. Man would be like, yeah, what up? What up, man? Uh, what? <laughs> I can just, can you just imagine you it. Do you 
you were the upset was it 1.2 billion people no, no. 1.6 I think it's 1.2 no I'm just saying Idris Elba could do it he would Anyways, rock that jewellery neatly what we're saying is can, can the Pope resign what do you think about the decision for the Pope to resign I don't know what to think about that because after it happened the Vatican actually got stopped by lightning within hours of him making this thing so you know if you don't believe in coincidences and you believe in freak experience I kid you not the top of the, the Vatican, like the cross, got hit by lightning. It's caught on camera, they've got a picture in it. Wow. So, do we think that this is a sign of the time? Wow. Do we think this means something? Does it mean nothing? Was he really just tired and old and he needed a, just a, a bit of a break and to, you know, rest? And, and more importantly, who should be the next Pope and what should the whole audition process be? I, I'm going for the voice type thing where everyone turns their back and then someone comes in and says why they should be the next Pope. And then if they like it, they press their button and, and the chair around. spins around. I'm going for a, the voice style election. I don't know. Are you more Britain's Got Talent? You remind me of more, I'm you look gonna, like a more Britain's Got Talent type I'm of girl. I'm going to go the more conservative view in saying that whatever Pope comes in, I'm just going to wonder, is he going to be sticking with the traditional views of the Catholic Church or is he going to be trying to move it forward into the 21st century? Are we going to see a Pope that is really going to get with the times or are we going to have a Pope that's just going to do what's done before? I think that's what everyone's waiting to see. Which What what Pope and what's he bringing in? Let us know what you think. Please, please, please. Like, really, let us know what you think. I mean, we've had some interesting messages come to us on all sorts of matters. <laughs> so please, 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 we, we actually read what you have to say. We so do. tweet us at Into2G, subscribe to our YouTube channel and get on our Facebook page and just share your thoughts and let us know what you think. But anyway, I've been Sunshine. And I am, and always will be, <laughs> Luke White. And we're encouraging you to live a better life. Oh, 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 oh,